Hello everyone, Toby's here and in this video I will give you a full review over my account. So you know, hopefully this cover all the questions that I keep getting. I'm just gonna take a quick uh, review over everything including the research, temple, chakra, troop equipment, pet, the stelly, the relics, uh, mastery, draconic and dragon and the heroes, everything. I'm gonna just take a quick review over all my accounts and you know just to understand what is this 14 million core is all about. But before I do that, make sure to write hashtag giveaway with your game ID to participate in the incoming Toby Nation wheel. So let's uh, quickly take a look at the research. Real quick, I'm just gonna skim through everything really quickly and you can, you know, pause, go back and see everything. So for the heroes, the gladiators is fully maxed. Is out of the way. No, gladiators is one of my favorites. Sage in general, almost fully maxed, just missing this one, tier 10, which reduced the critical and gives uh, bronze cap not a big deal all right and for the mechanist almost fully maxed just missing tier 15 gonna work on it soon this one gives a um, chance for attack speed increase and for the mages is the one i'm struggling with you know still have a lot of things missing you have tier 12 missing tier 13 missing 15 and 16 I'm working on 16 to you know hit level 70 on all the mages and the necromancers as for the troops where is the troops research? We got three mags, archers, swordsmen, and um, clergy, priestesses, or whatever. And now I'm working on uh, heavy infantry. Should be alright. You know, this one not a big deal. Alright, what else we have? Let's take a look at troops, troops uh, attack and health. So for the swordsmen, 3.2, and for the archers, 3.9. It's not bad. As for their gears, let's take a look. So for the chakra enlightenment, this one all all fully max, everything, all the troops, uh, the awakening thingy. For the gears, we got this one gear ten, almost everything gear ten, just missing the um, horses, only these two, working on them. So for the imbuement, we got imbu full here and uh, our uh, swordsman also full, and then the rest are thirty. 30 and working on you know let's see how much yeah i'm working on 33 or whatever it's not a big deal this one is not a big deal so when it comes to the draconic quickly just gonna look over everything you know look at this uh, health and damage of the dragon beautiful and we got 60 growth on this dragon as for the abilities this is probably the best you can get out in the market and uh, yeah we got also enough enough dragon glass to do how many dragons this one is the research 55 60 and we got this one uh, also 60 60 also and 60 so we got how many dragons six or five let's see how many dragons leaderboards dragon so one two three four five six six dragons and this one I can also make a 60. 6 dragons. 6 dragons level 60. Uh, let's take a look at the draconic real quick. So for the draconic, is this one is fully maxed. And for the awakening, we got 40 and 40. And this one, I am working on the 51. So I'm missing some. It's, it's going to get expensive later on to hit this one, the 50. Alright, so we're done with the dragon. What else? So for the artifacts let's go quickly for the heroes artifacts and prisms actually from here is better all right so for the artifacts all of the artifacts are five stars everything including you know the pay to win and the free to play all all five stars mainly you know i i like to to get to them five stars for the for the stats more than anything so as you can see let me show you my stats also right away so this is the total attributes i have for now I, I can I can't change. I can keep tweaking, but this is the one I'm using now. And then we're gonna take a look at all the heroes uh, equipment as well. But let's take a look at the prisms. So for the prisms, I have two uh, rank ten and one rank nine, and the rest are eight. So wave power ten, heroic alliance nine. Have this one on Avalon, and uh, this one on Took, which for the hero uh, dragon regeneration and increase healing received and increase health of the dragon. 
and this one we have Myra on 8 warrior which is gonna buff the melee troops aka swordsman and this one Fenris which is gonna increase also starts of everything and chance to every 12 seconds gives a moral boost I can change this one this one is the last one I'm using it's not a big deal I can change it but I'm using this one for now uh, Basric we got turn of the tide rank 8 or let's say level 8 so we know to turn of the tide is a good one Bane, Agony, I like Bane, also level 8, and Denji, Fearsome Aura, and uh, also level 8. Guys, I'm going to show you the health of Denji Denji, it's crazy. Flores, Blessing of Piety, level 8, and Bayrog, Rapid Strike, level 8, this one to buff the range units, for archers. Solaris, Bartender, Reflection Armor, level 8, Saizo, Devastating Strike, level 8. And Lonella Dragons Faith level eight, Virion Tiny Mighty level eight, Elena Guardian level eight, Raxus Shamanic level eight, and Rose Draconic Defiance eight to protect my dragon, and Nora Nora level ten for the Draconic Storm. So what else do we have? Let's uh, quickly take a look at all their gears. Just gonna skim through them real quick. I'm not using this one. I'm not using this one. I'm not using this. Not using uh, Tiadrin. Not using uh, Gazul. I'm not using Cleo. Man, I like, I like, I got this one, guys. It's a new one for uh, reduce the dragon damage taken. Actually, believe it or not, I'm not, I'm not using Ophidia now. I cannot fit her in my, in my formation. You know, but hey. Let's forget about this one. Just assume you didn't see it. Because I'm still debating to maybe put her back. I'm not using uh, Grimm's. And I'm not using uh, Gafgar as well. Nora Nora. Cannot wait for the new source to put it here. I'm not using Jax. I'm not using Mako as well. Guys, check a, take a look at Denji's health. 55 million. Denji, Denji. By the way, yeah. I added this one. Actually, it's a common clutch because, you know, when he... I ulti, I use ultimate a lot uh, with Denji. So he stuns uh, the heroes, especially against Dwarf. It's a good one. And Tuk Tuk. Bane. Beautiful. Barrel. Yeah. Fenris. I'm, I'm, you know, I recently used this one. I'm not using Sprig. What else do we have? And I'm not using uh, Irian. So this is an overlook of all my heroes, gears and, all, and everything. Let's took, take a look at the hero mastery. So hero mastery is max. I'm, I'm working on the small ones now. Like for example here. Like just to fill the other ones. The missing ones. But still I have a, a long way to go. I think I'm working on this one now. Attack speed of heroes. But let's take a look at uh, how I distribute it. So we have Nora here. Uh, let's go one by one. Yeah, yeah better. So Nora here for the magic uh, of the Draconic uh, Prism and the attack speed, mainly for attack speed to be honest. And the Rufio for the cooldown. Rose, because I'm not using any mage or any necromancer or nothing, so might as well just put it on Rose. I have nowhere, no one to use for this one. And this one I'm using on Raxis still because I don't use Avril. I know some people, you know, say you play wrong or that's not, but hey, I make it work my way guys. And that's the idea. It's all about playing your what you makes you comfortable or what's your you know your way. It doesn't matter what's the meta to be honest. I make my own way. I make my own meta, and uh, as long as I enjoy, as long as I'm you know in the top hundred, that's what matters for me. That's the standard to be honest. And hey, we got here uh, Lonella because of her position in my formation. She actually hits uh, two swords and two archers, which is important because the nearby troops attack and health 15% for the first 30 seconds. So it's good to hit both of the swords and the archers, and that's where she is placed. Cannot wait to get the Void 200 uh, shield, which is also gonna buff the two archers, and give them mitigation. Here we have Elena, because Elena, when she's she's gonna bless, she's gonna bless anyway, because she's Elena. And here Fenris, when he's the battlefield, attack speed, sure. Gan, because he's the one that's buffing my soul side. And uh, Avalon, because Avalon Horn goes well together. Alright, what do we have? Um... This one, what is it called? Divine. 
So I have here the max health and healing received because I have the main on him and I have the ban of bishop on him on my stall side near my swordsman who's going to you know regenerate and get heals and which is going to heal also the swordsman next to him and all of these good things. So yeah. Here what do we have? We have uh, flora for the healing with the blessing of piety and all the good things. And here we have bear rock. Fair 30 seconds regenerated health because I want him to complete all the ancestor thing above his head, the totem. Here, just a shield. You know, this one is not a big deal. I can give anybody, but hey, I don't want Gan to die right away because he's holding the banner for me and Lonella jumping back, healing my two archers. For the defensive ones, we got here uh, Virian because Virian, we don't want him to die. And Belrog getting what? Belrog is, has less health. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I like this one on Belrog. Bane, I think, is the icy one that reduce and, yeah. Increase their evade and reduce. What does it? What does it reduce? Reduce attack speed. Yeah. Okay. Good one. It's a good on any tank to guys. And Denji Denji. I like this one on him, along with the deflect of his, you know, passive ability and everything makes him really tanky. And this one, I actually changed this one. This one was on uh, Bane. I swapped because I realized this one is gonna make him taunt, and this guy he doesn't die with the health pardon for 16 seconds or something, which is better. Alright, for the rage one, I have this one on Basric, who's gonna be attack speed and physical damage. Nora, I like I still like this one on Nora to give her extra range and crit and crit damage. I like it on Nora this one. Some people, you know, have different preference, but that's what I like. And this one for the 200 damage, I still yeah, I like this one. This is the only way I like you know jump with Rufio with the set that I have. And uh, proc the dragon. For me, Rufio is all about proccing the dragon, and then I can tag with my archers, dire archers. This is my playstyle, guys. Everyone have different playstyle, but this is my playstyle. You know, have the uh, Rufio proccing the dragon, and then the archers tagging and killing the dragon. That's my way. Denji Denji, reducing all penetration and all of these good things for the cut through. I like it. And Saizo, because sure. What else do we have? We have the arcane one. No, we did the arcane one, right? Cool down, yeah. Yeah, we did this one. All right, so we're done. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. All right, so what else we have? Yeah, let's take a look at the Spirit Beast. Spirit Beast is uh, level 76 and 5 stars. So this one is going to be a good one. Not much to say. You know, this one, guys, this is a big upgrade. If you still don't know, you know, what, how, how big this one? If you press here, for example, every one point increase... Physical damage 0.08. So what you gotta do is take your calculator and put 0.08 multiply by 772.8. That's how much you're gonna get, more or less, you know. And apply this one same on everything. So you're gonna get a lot. The pet thing don't underestimate. I uh, this is gonna be my next project, working on the pet, hopefully to rank 90 or something. But I think it's gonna be crazy after that. It's already crazy, guys. How, look how much. Five million just to level one level. So. Screw that, basically. All right, what else we have? Uh, temple, let's take a look at the temple. So temple, we have temple eight here, and then temple eight also, and then seven, working on eight now. I'm still working on this one, you see. So yeah, and then we got here seven untouched, also seven untouched here, seven untouched. So we got a long way to go for the doom dragon. Working on this one for eight, I think. Yeah, this one missing a lot. So. So yeah, and then seven untouched, seven untouched, and then already eight. So I have three statues level eight, and the rest are seven. Working my way. So before we jump into the real query, let's leave it to the last thing because it's disgusting. Let's take a look what else we have. Um, Draconic we showed, Dragon we showed, Garrison doesn't matter, Heroes, Troop Gears, yeah, Research, Temple, Chakra, Chakra is max. Super Cookman Spirit Beast. Okay, so all we have is the Steli and the Reliquary. Let's take a look at the Relics, guys, and it's it's almost fully maxed, to be honest. Take a look. So this is all fully maxed, the blue ones. As for the Epic ones, I am missing one, two, three, four only. So these fours are the one missing, and also they are already just missing fragments. So here, this one I'm gonna work on. This one, these two I'm gonna work on them next. Uh, this one just missing fragments and then for the legendary ones i actually have two of them uh, four stars and and the rest four of them three stars and all waiting for the fragments so they're all leveled up waiting for the fragments now let's take a look at the steli it's the big one we go one by one 
So here I choose uh, magic resistance because of Avril and all of the damage that comes to my archers. And for the this one, physical damage resistance for the heroes I put physical mainly because you're gonna get hit by uh, snipers and archers and you know mainly. And this one also physical for the dragon. Here, you know, I want for critical uh, increase the critical rate. I like crit. You know, attack speed. Honestly, you know, it's nice. But I, you know, usually you have a lot of attack speed with Avalon at the beginning. And mainly, you know, I, I focus mainly on the very first 30 seconds. This is all the buffs I focus on first 30 seconds. So that's why I would go for crit. Here, obviously, I go to might because I completely ditched the magic. And this one is actually better, apparently, because it increased damage to large units, which is includes all the enemy heroes, which is more important than anything, to be honest. And also increased damage on mech and, and stuff like this. So I like this one. All right, let's take a look here. Here, what do you have? Critical also and this attack speed. Yeah, so I want all critical instead of attack speed as I mentioned my logic why and um, Here what do we have critical hit resistance or evade? I think this one. Yeah, evade I like evade because evade negates all the damage and here I went for command because command usually gives you more uh, gold uh, Gold capacity gold troop to make you know to make uh, gold uh, troops and also I like command because command usually difficult to, to increase this one, you know and also it's gonna compensate all the attack speed when i win the command stats i'm gonna get 30 attack speed right it's compensate all the one that i'm ditching and here this one unit health above 70 damage taken reduce usually you know it doesn't matter at the beginning because that sniper shot is gonna reduce to below 70 anyway so i like the very first 30 seconds all units recover health equivalent to 1.5 each second this is crazy guys for me this is really good first 30 seconds i like it let's take a look here all right so for the troops i like healing received because i'm stacking all the healing received uh, with my troops gears and everything and uh, with the noble blood and the band of bishop and everything to keep my troops always you know especially if you play human if you play human healing received is really important here is you know it doesn't matter healing received for my heroes that much so i want to increase critical resistance and for a dragon, obviously, I want healing received. Also, it's uh, small, 25%. Beautiful. And here I went for the... Um, what is this one? Attack and attack speed. Here is crit, I think. Yeah. So, this one is not a big deal. You can choose this one or this one. I want to, you know, just do zigzag here. So, here we have command and might. Uh, command and stamina. I like. Because I don't want anything that gives magic. That's why I went for this one. And... In the first 30 seconds, as I said, I always focus on the first 30 seconds, more important for me. Here, after 40 seconds. Honestly, I like first 30 seconds. Alright, so let's take a look here. Here I want all for the critical damage. Below is accuracy. I don't think accuracy is a big deal, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe I need to test it, but uh, I think crit is more uh, crit. Critical is more critical, right? It's only logical. So here is what? In he increase healing received. I like healing received, as I said, I'm stacking it. And uh, instead of what? Instead of evade. Yeah, healing received for me is, is more important. And max health, decrease damage taken, or critical health. Uh, it's not a big deal. Both of them is not a big deal. Well, I choose this one. And the heal, uh, this one, the reign of mercy. This one is confirmed from, you know, I uh, confirmed with the, the VIP. It, the animation is very small, but it does work. It's really difficult to see it in the fight. I tried testing it, but it's very difficult to see it. But it uh, apparently works. Confirmed. So, all right. For the last one, here is guys the crazy page, and it gets so expensive to get. See this one, it's four hundred. So obviously, I went for physical damage for the troops and physical damage for the heroes. And now I'm thinking to go for this one. If I unlock it, I'm gonna use my ruby dragon, guys. I think this is gonna be crazy with ruby dragon. Increase magic, a drug attack, and magic. It's gonna be crazy. And for the last, this one, I you know. I think I'm gonna go here. Critical resistance, so and so I can unlock this one, which is important. Humanoid and mech. God, we we need to find a way to kill those mechs, guys. If you hit stall side of dwarf, you you lose. So we need to find a way. Maybe this will help. And because last one, I like this one more, because every ten seconds, a poisonous swamp will appear, and you know, for eight lasting eight seconds. So only difference is two seconds without a swamp, which is really good. So they're gonna take more. They're gonna take damage per seconds, like kind of poison thing. And then their attack speed will be reduced, and also the damage taken increase. So, this guy, this is disgusting. This swamp is gonna be swamp. I like this one. 
so yeah this is the way i'm gonna work it so just quickly before we wrap up this whole uh, account review this is the ruby dragon i have let me show you the idea i have if i if i unlock this uh, steady one deploy ability player all right so what i want to do is i want to put um, greater ability here instead of this one i'm gonna remove this one put a greater ability than the um, scale the scale that you know reduce damage taken and then i'm gonna reduce remove the pulse and put the greater ability for the archer because it's a very important one the last one the um, draconic blessing called or whatever it's called it's very important you can you know you have to play it for, for to buff your archers so i'm gonna remove this one i believe that this is what it's called yeah fire blast i believe this fire blast it's able to release a fire blast i believe this fire blast triggers swell so no need for pills you know what i mean i think this should maximize the damage if anybody can do this already or test it go ahead and do it it's gonna i believe it's gonna make the dragon crazy or especially for ruby dragon we're gonna test it later when we unlock the steady one but remember i don't have the last greater ability this one where is it this one i don't have it yet uh, i want the second one because thank you lilith for having the box not giving it to me they needed the last box what is it see this last box doesn't give so annoying all right uh, talking about boxes let's open this one maybe we get ten thousand three hundred wasn't expecting more and one last thing yeah my vote resets so you know just gonna do this before we wrap up the video so make sure write hashtag giveaway you know and uh, hopefully you win some codes uh, i still get people asking me how to participate which is crazy to be honest because i i don't know what you guys are watching without hearing or what but hey maybe we get some recipes guys finger crossed we get some recipe maybe the shield from uh, void 200 or something looking for this one so did we get any recipe nah no recipes all right maybe next time so yeah guys this should do it for the video you know hopefully you get a full review of the account uh, get all the questions you were asking you know so for the leaderboard, I'm currently first in Kingdom and eighth on server. We got some big whales here. So for the void, fourth on server, We're finishing 200. Tactical doesn't matter. Abyss doesn't matter because finished long time ago. Dragon, yeah, my dragon. But I need to work on the draconic because some people got everything almost max. And for the spirit beasts, eighth, not bad. Yeah. This is the next project for me. So yeah, guys, this should do it. That's basically a full review on Toby's account. And um, yeah, guys, until next time, take it easy. See ya.